Hello there. Just wanted to say a big, big thank you to all those people who wished me well on my hospital appointment today. Uh, I did read quite a lot of comments while I was in hospital. Uh, I had the eye drops in, uh, but I didn't trust myself on replying. Well, while I sat there waiting for the eye drops to take effect. Um, yeah, I, I, that's when I was reading the messages, but I, like I say, it's uh, when you're uh, you, you, everything starts to go a bit blurry. You, I didn't really trust myself in uh, typing anything. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've, my eyes are still a bit blurry, so I've come outside um, to enjoy a bit of, a, <laughs> it's very rare, a bit of cool, weather we're having. According to the forecast, we're supposed to be having thunderstorms, uh, but we're not. So anyway, we're outside enjoying the cool weather for a bit, um, and uh, I'm having a, a Pims, Pims and uh, ginger ale uh, to uh, kind of calm my nerves after having, uh, having my uh, eyes done. Yeah, the um, the lady that phoned me up and told me about the appointment today, I think it was Friday or whenever it was, she phoned me up and said that I had to come in, seemed to think it was quite urgent. And uh, that's the impression I got from this, this lady, was that um, she wanted to see me quite urgently. And uh, anyway, when I got there, they, they all they did was the same as they did last Monday, was to put drops in my eyes and take photographs in the back of my eyeball. Um, yeah, but the bigger shock was was the car park because uh, it was a different eye clinic. I think there's three eye clinics in Hull Royal. Uh, anyway, I went to uh, I went to two of them today. One was the wrong place, uh, and uh, eventually I got sent to the right place, which was upstairs. Um, yeah, the, the, but the biggest shock was the car park because it went into a different car park. Four pounds and seven pence. I was only in there for an hour, but uh, they turn around and say, well, it's, a, well, it's up to three hours. You get up to three hours parking. That's the minimum fee that you can pay. It was, three, was four pounds and uh, seven pence for three hours. But it's daylight robbery. Uh, I shan't be parking there anymore. If I have to go to that part of the hospital again, I shall go to the, into the car park that's further away and uh, walk, take that extra 10 minute walk. Um, at least that way, I'll only be paying two pounds for my parking. So at the moment, it's cost me over ten pounds in parking, and uh, more than more than double that in petrol. I, I think travelling backwards and forwards. So uh, being ill or having something wrong with you is not cheap these days, especially uh, the cost of petrol and uh, uh, and everything else that's uh, going on. I mean, I wouldn't have made those journeys otherwise. I wouldn't have got in my car. Uh, so I only ever used my car really for uh, a bit of shopping or taking Sarah out for the day. Um, you know, big one of those big things that you you do, isn't it? You, you know. So anyway, I might be going out tomorrow when if my eyes settle down. Why well, should we go and taking Sarah out somewhere, somewhere nice? Um, I do believe that there's a little place called Burton Constable. Uh, but there's an old hall there that has a tea room. So I might take her for a nice cup of tea and a, and a piece of Victoria sponge or something. But uh, anyway, you can hear the kids screaming. You can tell them off on holidays, can't you? That's yeah, um, uh, Snow White and there's seven dwarfs over there. Well, I think there's eight dwarfs now, to be, uh, to be honest. But anyway, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, yeah, anyway, cheers. Oh look, you can't see, but just over there is a red admiral, butterfly, and a butterfly bush. I tried to take a picture of it the other day, but um, I don't know if it's the same one or not. So we had, uh, we had one perch on the, on the door over there, on the shed door, and I thought that would have taken a nice photograph, but by the time I got my gear out, it had um, flown away. But, yeah, the garden's looking a lot better. With all this rain that we had last night, everything seems to have perked up a bit. The grass has grown, I think overnight it's grown at least an inch. Which is amazing really, because we did, we did need the rain. And uh, 
they've just announced on the radio that uh, York is about to, um, or Yorkshire is about to declare a drought. So we'll see. It's, uh, <laughs> that's all we ever hear about York is if it's if it's, uh, it's either flooding or or in drought. So, anyway, we'll see. We'll see what it's like. Hopefully there'll be more rain tonight and a nice dry day tomorrow. But anyway, so I'll say goodbye and uh, you guys have a, uh, a nice midweek uh, pims after work. Um, but yeah, but I do, I do really appreciate all those well wishers that uh, wish me well. And uh, we'll just have to wait and see now, see what the results are, see what they say. But uh, like I say, getting old sucks. Um, as I'm finding out, this leave has been the worst for a medical appointment. But, yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, scars are settling down. By the way, thanks, for, thanks for all the wheel washes about that one. That one up there. Uh, it's uh, it's quite um, still quite painful to sleep. Uh, resting on the because I either rest on that side and that presses into that scar, or I rest that side and it presses into that scar. But otherwise. Uh, Otherwise, we're, we're all good at the moment. Anyway, enjoy your. Uh, if you have a cup of tea, cheers. If you have a. If you're going to have a, a glass of Pims, then cheers. And uh, you know, sit back and uh, enjoy a bit more fresh air and quiet, if I can get any quiet. Anyway, see you later. Bye then. Ciao.